guys, this episode we're gonna be talking about a really interesting feature of Rails called routing concerns and taking a look at how we can even apply our reusable features using concerns from our controllers and models and also do that in our routes, even though it gets to be a little bit tricky. So let's take a look at that. I actually didn't know this was a feature until Andrew Broad commented yesterday about that and asked, you know, can we use routes for this? And uh, the routing concerns definitely can. So in our models, we have our comment and our post model. All of these include likable. And actually, I just realized we can do an included do here and take the has many likes and move that over so that everything is included in the include likable, including your association. So that is reusable and handled inside of our control or a model concern. And our controller concern works very similarly where we have an included block that adds some things at the class level like before actions and so on. Now, the way we implemented this is we have two uh, likes controllers, one for each model, it's nested under the folder and the folder is how our likable actions is able to figure out what model to load. So we're able to pull out the controller's name, comments or posts, then we classify it, we singularize it, then classify it, then constantize it. And then we get our post model uh, in Ruby, our Ruby class, or our comment model in Ruby, and then we can find the record for it. So this works pretty well, and that works because we have the module on our routes, but we can actually use a feature in Rails called routing concerns to try to improve this a little bit and make it reusable. So routing concerns you can find